It's another record-setting American election when it comes to campaign cash. Groups funded by billionaires and linked to dark money are spending more than ever this election. Today, we begin with a deep dive into the givers and takers, including the biggest political donors of all, some names you know, and a few you've probably never heard of. When the candidates hit the campaign trail, so get up, take back our country. or get attacked in campaign ads, Donald Trump is a draft dodger, a dishonorable coward unfit to be commander in chief. There's more money than ever working behind the scenes to pull strings. Joe Biden will kill your jobs and raise your taxes. I'd, I'd make the changes on day one. Oil and gas. Oil and gas is definitely on Team Trump, by and large. Big tech. Big tech is mixed. Some... Dave Leventhal is senior Washington correspondent at Business Insider. Wall Street. Wall Street, <laughs> Wall Street wants to make money. If you look at Wall Street's money over the years, they will ebb and flow. Sometimes they're supporting Democrats more. Sometimes they're supporting Republicans more. So when it comes to 2020, not long before Election Day, who are the top contributors to the campaigns when grouped by employees at companies? Joe Biden counts donations above a million dollars from three. Alphabet, owner of Google, which has been leading numerous fact-checking initiatives, about $2 million. The University of California, $1.6 million. Federal employees, about $1.1 million. Next on Biden's list, Microsoft, Amazon, health insurer Kaiser Permanente, Apple, and Facebook. Trump, on the other hand, has no single group reaching a $1 million. His biggest group of donors comes in at barely above a quarter million dollars, U.S. Postal Service employees. Then the Department of Defense, other federal employees who give over five times more to Biden, the Army, and American Airlines. Trump and his campaign... There are some familiar names among the biggest individual donors. Number one is Vegas casino billionaire Sheldon Adelson, topping $172 million to Republicans. At number three... Former Democratic presidential candidate Tom Steyer, a Wall Street hedge fund billionaire, has given more than $55 million. Number eight, former Democratic presidential candidate Michael Bloomberg, above $21 million. Number 16, Joshua Beckenstein, co-chair of Bain Capital, the financial firm started by Republican Mitt Romney. He's given more than $12 million, almost all to Democrats. Number 19, Rupert Murdoch owns conservative-leaning Fox News and the Wall Street Journal, but has given more than $11 million to Democrats. And liberal billionaire activist George Soros is on the money list, way down at number 26, with more than $8.5 million to Democrats. But that's not the whole picture. Anna Masoglia is with the Center for Responsive Politics, which tracks a lot of the numbers we're using at opensecrets.org. For example, George Soros uh, is not among the top, top donors, um, not among like the top five donors this election cycle, but among the top organization groups. We do have two groups that are connected to Soros funneling money from a 501c4 that's tied to Soros to a super PAC that has also been tied to Soros, which he's also donated to directly, and then infusing that money into a number of different Democratic groups. So just looking at the direct donor doesn't tell the full story of who is actually behind those donations in many cases. But you might be surprised to hear some of the biggest individual donors in American politics aren't household names. After Adelson, the number two donors in 2020, giving more than $59 million to Republicans, are shipping and supply magnates Richard and Elizabeth Uline. After Steyer, at number four is Timothy Mellon, more than $50 million, mostly to Republicans. He's heir to a banking fortune and owns Pan Am Systems Transportation Company. From there, Wall Street hedge funds and investment firms dominate. There's number five, Stephen Schwartzman, CEO of the investment firm Blackstone Group. He and his wife have dropped more than $28 million, mostly on Republicans. Jeffrey and Janine Yass of Wall Street's Susquehanna International Group, above $24 million on the Republican side. Hedge fund magnate Donald Sussman of Paloma Partners, more than $23 million, almost all to Democrats. The Simons and the Laufers, big donors affiliated with the hedge fund Renaissance Technologies, hold two top places with more than $32 million for Democrats. 
Liberal activist Carla Jurvetson, reportedly split from her Silicon Valley venture capitalist husband, is closing in on $21 million for Democrats. Most of it went to Elizabeth Warren. Trump doesn't have the strength to lead, nor the character to admit it. Also reaching new highs this election, Joe Biden is a job-killing, tax-raising disaster. So-called outside spending, cash primarily spent on all those negative ads. Billions in wages lost. That number passed $1.9 billion just two weeks before Election Day. Trump is not well. That's $800 million more than the same time in 2016. Biden takes the win in this category with a $139 million advantage in outside spending, not counting a $100 million pledge from Bloomberg. Topping the list is the same group that supported Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, Priorities USA Action. We're headed in the wrong direction because of Donald Trump. We need a president again. We need Joe Biden. Priorities USA Action has devoted more than $94 million to make sure Trump loses. Also helping Biden, the opposition research powerhouse American Bridge 21st Century, funded by conservative-turned-liberal activist David Brock. The Lincoln Project, a group of never-Trump Republicans, Unite the Country and Pacronym, which claims to be running the largest digital campaign targeting key voters in battleground states on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. One of the biggest trends uh, over the last few election cycles that seems to have really proliferated in 2020 is the role of the internet in digital ads because it is extremely easy for a dark money group or even an individual or group of individuals to create an online presence that may give the appearance of being uh, a, either a civic group or a news outlet or even another individual uh, without leaving a trace of who is actually behind those accounts. Outside spending groups helping Trump include America First Action, which comes in at more than $93 million, Preserve America PAC at $76.8 million, Committee to Defend the President, and Great America PAC. So we do have a number of people all across the country who are big dollar political donors, but we don't quite know who they are because they are the ones who are donating hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars to organizations that in turn, don't disclose where that money is truly coming from. In all, Trump and Biden have raised well over $1.4 billion, with Biden showing a $101 million advantage over Trump. And while the money race is one all candidates want to win, it's not necessarily the predictor many once thought it was, as proved in 2016, when Hillary Clinton outraised Donald Trump two to one. So help me God but lost. Trump wins in one money category, small donors. He receives nearly 53% of his contributions from small donors. Biden's small donors are 38% of his donations.